So first thing I want to talk about is the elephant in the room, okay? Is it, there one in here? There is an elephant in this room. I also okay. have a story about an elephant at the end. Okay, I want to hear the we elephant digress. story. So uh, first of all, congratulations on the transition for you guys. Thank you. You know, you've had huge success in country music. I can only imagine if I told your like 10-year-old selves, hey, you're going to win <laughs> Grammys in country music, and then you're going to pop music. You, yeah. you would probably surprise you. But I want to talk about your performance on Fallon and, and the gun show that you were putting oh, on. Oh, gosh. How much time do you spend in the gym, honestly? You know what? We, uh, we're foodies, so all three of us really have to spend a couple of hours every single day in right. the gym. Um, but really just so we can eat whatever the heck we want to eat. Um, and I do sort of feel like, you know, on Napoleon Dynamite, um, that the trainer's girlfriend was right. Like, st it's not Stella. Salt? Starla. Starla. I don't know. Starla? Starla? Okay. I'm like, I feel like I have Starla vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to live too much. Do you wear the star pants like Starla? Or no, the I don't have those. Star like Starla? No, I don't no, have you don't. Yeah, I just saw you guys come out on stage and I, you started singing and you're just laying into it. And I'm like, holy, I've got to get a ticket. I'm missing a show here. Yes, sir. Uh, more importantly, does anybody have tots in their pocket right now? Now no. we're talking no, about no this. tots in the pocket. Yeah. We'll share next time. Okay. Now, do you do like workout classes together? You kind of do your own thing when, you, when you're at the gym? We what do you mix do? it up. You know, yeah. we, there's this gym that we go to and they will have like classes. So uh, most of the time we have our trainer with us and he right. makes sure we eat like healthy and stuff. Ugh. He's pretty much our least favorite person on the road. Uh, <laughs> Since you brought it up, he accidentally got me. A, we're such nerds. He got me a juice today with watch out cane sugar in it and oh, he didn't mean to uh, and he literally had a conniption bit when he read the back of the bottle <laughs> and i was like billy did he throw it on the <laughs> and he saw oh, a rare smile on my face talking to him because yeah. he had given me sugar. my wife belongs to a juice club so are you, you serious so what you so you pay like a flat rate a month and then every day you get the juice and you get the cayenne pepper some shots. Juicy sick. juice. Some days it's high C. Oh some gosh. days it's ecto cooler. So there's this one yes. place that has juices, but they like name them kind of offensive names. Yeah. So it's like they call them de-stressors or be nice or happiness. And so like it kind of is offensive whenever someone like gives, you gives you like a happiness juice. Is that like, like wait? Like, what are you saying? Like, I'm not happy? Well, like, like, yeah. 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 Well, it could be called jerk juice. I so. know, right? That you know what I mean? That is no. That is no. That is not where I was going. I was going to say a swear word. <laughs> Too many boys in this interview, so right? So thank you for, yes. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> here's a question for you guys. As brothers and sisters and traveling along and all of this stuff, um, we were actually talking uh, on the air. We weren't talking about pranks that we pulled on our siblings. Okay. Have you guys, are you pranksters? I will say only when it comes to them scaring me. It's just the same prank over and over. And I don't know, Neil. I will say my, my favorite scare though. I don't like jump out of cor uh, outside of corners and scare. Mine for her is just yelling snake, but yeah, yelling. But it doesn't matter. Like literally, if I caught her off guard right here, I could just yell snake. In the middle of Boston, middle and of I Boston. would buy into it for some reason. <laughs> there, I've put up several videos on my Instagram. Y'all should definitely check out. It's, and I put it in slow mo too. So when she yells, it's like. Nurr. It's like you know how you have muscle memory. It's mm -hmm. emotional memory yeah. at this point. He's been doing it for years. We could be I, in Antarctica playing a show, and she's still snake, and out. it's gonna flip it's me. The out. deadly New England anaconda. <laughs> yes, deadly. That's a totally different thing too. Yeah, <laughs> what is uh? <laughs> Yours was more of a stretch. So, so. With, with so much success at, at country... <laughs> wow. Okay. Free. Don't leave her hanging. That was strong. That was good. Yes. Yeah, that was too. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, moving on. So we're not doing the Pledge of Allegiance right now? <laughs> what What has it been like I, from the fans' perspective? And I know that's something that you always think about when you're when you're making music and you're, how will the fans connect to these songs and then you come right out of the box with the new music and i you know it was funny i was talking to a friend of mine today i said i was coming to interview you guys and he's like oh my and he listened to all rap music and yeah. i didn't think he would know who you were he's like oh i love them they're like kind of independent but they're country yeah. and i was like oh well they're doing a pop album and he was like that makes sense. Yeah. Like it works. But what has been the response from the fans? Are they are they digging the new song? Well, the cool thing about our fans from day one, thanks to everything you guys have even done with "If I Die Young," you know, which was our very first mm -hmm. single. Um, we've always looked out at a crowd and seen, of course, a country core audience, and uh, they have really brought our band to life. But we also saw, you know, a, a pop crowd as well. And so we've really never gotten to get to that 
other half of our fan base since If I Die Young. And so we didn't really set out to make a country album or a pop album with this third effort. We really wanted to make a band Perry record that was representative of everything that we're listening to and loving. And uh, I feel like the lyric sensibility is what you guys have always heard from us. But we really love 808s and big drum beats. And we wanted <laughs> we wanted to be able to play so with those. Was. Yeah, exactly. And Chance the Rapper, we're huge fans of. And um, so, you know, we just didn't want to have to water it down for this sake of oh what airwaves is this going to be played over you know country music is all about honesty and this is us bringing our most honest stuff to the fans and they're loving it man they expect us to do the unexpected it's <laughs> funny point. we've been testing out several of the new songs live for a while and even tonight uh several of the fans who've been following us for years they'll come and they'll yeah. be singing like all the new songs already oh, just awesome. because yeah so that's pretty that's cool yeah. yeah all right girl real talk so I just did this to my hair, and it took two times and almost eight hours in a chair. Yep. How long did this take? This took multiple dyes. Of course, my hair is a lot darker now. It's yeah. from blonde to almost black. Yeah. It was like three or it's four work. times to get it right. Mm -hmm. But the bang cut, however, yes. like 30 seconds, did not even have time to think about it. <laughs> it was so, I was like, okay, we're doing this. I, we're doing it. Awesome. So. All right, when you guys are doing the album, is there at any point when you guys are recording the songs and you just realize you're like, oh, wait, we are going way too country on this one because it's kind of almost like a default setting when you're used to that. And then you're like, oh, nope, got to get rid of that twang. Was there any moments like that that you had? Well, we've never exactly been the poster children for um I guess the cliche version of what yeah. people imagine with country music. Yeah. We happen to actually really like banjos, though. Yeah. So there are some, <laughs> there are some tucked in. Even uh, "Stay in the Dark" has a banjo line on it. Um, but it was sort of like the challenge became: How do we want to use this in a modern way? And are we including it because we need to quote unquote countryfy it, or are we taking it away because we need to decountryfy it? And it was like it was a gut check. It was like let's have it because it belongs in the song. Well, yeah, I mean, so we yeah we still have a lot of the same elements people are using to but we we did it in sort of a new way like even tonight uh, we have some akai drum pads that we're using mm -hmm. and on stay in the dark in particular there's this mandolin part that we put on the record but we chopped it up and we have them on the the pads on our drum pad and so i'm playing that so they're getting like familiarity but in a really cool rhythmic way. way yeah, yeah. Well, I want to ask about your hair because we, we spent a little time in Memphis, Tennessee. We know you're from Mississippi. This is yeah. very Elvis. You got some swoosh this there. Is, this is some serious Elvis that's happening Neil. right now. Thank you. Yeah. I wish I could, like, claim credit. But you got to do the lamb you. tops. I I yeah. He I, prophesied I was this. born with sideburns, by the way. I, I've owned those No, sideburns. he's serious. Like, yeah. our mother had to rub them off in the hospital. <laughs> 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 he was born with sideburns. And when he was a kid, he was probably, what, like, five? I remember he was in Superman pajamas, and we were That's all having me. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and he jumped up on the dinner table, literally, struck mm -hmm. an Elvis pose, and he was like, I'm, I was born to do this. I was born to be Elvis. So I'm like, now you finally get to live that dream, yes. at least with your hair. Yes. And well, some, yeah, in your dance moves. All right, one yeah. last uh, question before we let the band Perry go. Uh, I'm a huge camper. Are you really? Grew up camping. Straight up tent. Like, uh, like done it all, yeah, from a little tent like to 43 <laughs> foot. Hey, now, yeah, now my wife, if it has, it's a little bit nicer. But I saw uh, the RV show. Was it? Oh was, yeah. Was it? Oh, yeah. oh like build your RV. Build your RV. Yeah. Do you guys still have this RV? Are you? Is that what you're traveling in? Unfortunately, that was one. That was one bus ago. So now we have a new one. But I can't tell you how many times people come up to us telling us about that. Of show. everything we've ever done. Award really? <laughs> award show performances, the Grammys. Forget all that. Forget all yeah, that. It was the build your nope. own RV. <laughs> no, that thing was incredible. I mean, you had a mid lit lit up makeup well, table. Well, you'll have to come check out the new one. Right. Yeah, so, we got yeah, to sort of daydream about the table. You just, just <laughs> I was jealous. Us, I was jealous. I, you know, I get a little, I get a little shine yeah, on the bald me. head. Yeah. Yes, that'll be good. That'll be good. All right. Well, we're looking for the uh, the performance. We've got you guys yeah. in the mix lounge. Thank you guys for coming in and doing with this with us. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks so much. Love you.